with Livingston and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. And he brings it to ya! Creature features and all creatures. is Livingston. Really? Weird. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me is my tiny friend and tenant of the manor, the lovely Miss Tangella. Missing over to this side would have been my dutiful butler, Mr. Livingston, who's apparently in the kitchen separating M&Ms by colour. And do we have a most fantastic program in store for you? For tonight, we will be joined by the one and only Stephen Zetro Souza. Many know him as the crooner for a heavy metal band called Exodus, but most of our viewers know him as the talented chap who sings the theme song for this very program. He'll tell us about his latest exploits whilst on tour, regale us with stories about how he and his bandmates flung televisions off hotel balconies in former Soviet bloc countries, and perhaps even mention why his home is adorned with a grumble of pugs. He'll also chime in about one of his most favorite films, which we've loaded onto the projector in honor of his visit, The Vault of Horror from 1973, a lovely British anthology which stars Tom Baker, Terry Thomas, and Don Adams. So don't go a- Livingston, why in God's name did you go through that unnecessary task? I was merely following the instructions on your guest's appearance rider. What on earth are you talking about? Zetro never requires us to follow a rider. And you took out all the brown ones. Ah, mystery solved. Mm. In any case, don't go away, for it is to be another night of rock and roll fright, right here on Creature Features. You do know if he quits, it'll be you who shall spend her days polishing the silver. Stay tuned. Cetro, do you know if people switched over to Channel 5 right at this moment, they could watch Hogan's Heroes? It's in color. In color? In color. Singer Barbara McNair appears as a disillusioned American in occupied Paris. I think I remember that episode. No? Yeah, it's it's a good one. Welcome to Creature Features. It's going to be a fun night because we've got Cetro. I love being back here. You know, know, he's, he's always on tour. We cannot get this bloke anymore. Because his band, Exodus, is touring. And you've been to some crazy places, right? Yeah, we did uh, 160 shows since the last time I seen you. 160 performances in, in like, 20 countries, right? At least. At wow. least. Right. At so least. You're, you're done with the tour bus for a while, right? Yes, for a while. We start recording new record March 1st. So, oh, you nice. Exodus fans... Do you know it's going to be cold? I don't know yet, so we're just throwing some stuff out. It's a trade secret. They they will save it for last. Exactly, because if I was to say that now, I'd get tortured by everybody in the band. No, well, it also puts out an an obligation on your part to follow the title, right? Right, and then what if we want to change it at the last minute? Exactly, right, right. So it shall be called uh, A Work in Progress, or it could be called, uh, what do they call it, Working Title? 
Yes, working title. It's working title of no title. Anyway, so we're going to watch Vault of Horror. Now, that's a title you like. One of my favorites. Right. We He requested this film, and we haven't shown it in two years. So uh, this one's an amicus, right? I think so. The I think ones so. It's did, an English company. Right, right. They did Tales of the Crypt. It's sort of like... It's sort of like a Hammer film if you ordered it from Wish. I feel it's very Hammer-ish. All of the cinematography, and it feels to me that it's a right. very, very Hammer film. Right. And right. the actors in it, too. Right, right. This this one with Terry Thomas, right? Kurt Jurgens as well. Right, right. No, Terry Thomas. Do you know that Terry Thomas, he put the dash in his name to signify the gap in his tooth. I didn't know that. No, nope. it's in his biography. It says he wanted people to remember he was the one with the gap in his tooth, so he put the little gap in the... I thought it was interesting. Wonderful actor. Great actor. No longer with us, sadly. But uh, All right, so we're going to show that, and we're going to talk about your tours and uh, other music-related stuff. And we're going to talk about... You know, everyone's always asking, you know, who does the song for your show? I always tell them Zetro. And they're like, who's Zetro? And we're here, well, go back and look at our older episodes or we'll have them back soon. So right. we have and to talk about that all over again. It's no problem. All right, off we go to Vault of Horror. Don't you dare go away because it's going to be a fun night. Bye. Welcome back to Creature Feature. You know, we, we need a bumper song. I did one already. No, no, no. That's the, oh, the opening song. We need a, like a do 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 Then you, you and I need to get together and write that. Yes. No, not me. You. Now, if I did it, it would be terrible. If you do it, it would be wonderful. So it should be wonderful. So you'll do it. If you're just joining us, this is Steve Zetro Souza. He did the opening song for our show. He sings for a band called Exodus. You also do an ACDC band as yes, well. Yes, I do. And you have sung with it before. ACDZ. ACDZ. AC yeah. Is you can't remember when you came in the... Yeah. You sang uh, oh, Big yes. Balls yeah. and you sang Dirty right. Deeds. Right. No, that was fun. And, you know, they all cheered because they knew I was your friend. So they weren't well, you judging actually, my you performance. Did, no, they did good. You did good. You no, nailed it. I'm not it. a singer. Regardless, you don't have to sing that. I'm Big Balls terrible. was so fun. You nailed every word. That's um, all you had to do. Well, that's that's different. That's because it's a, it's a British bloke talking in a British manner, like a like a fop. See, so nobody knew any different. That's right. That's right. Anyways, this film, uh, quickly, Volta Fora, your favorite, one of your favorites. Um, they used, reused some of the sets from Tales of the Crypt. Probably, probably cost effective to do that. Right. No, no. If I were to do a haunted house movie, I would say, you know, I know a place that we can do such a film. Right. Yeah. So it would be convenient. Although, you know, there's only so many ways you could tell the poltergeist story before it starts becoming old. Right. Right. So, anyways, uh, enough about the film. Your tour, you recently returned from. You're promoting which album? Persona non grata. Persona non grata. That's uh, Latin, if I recall correctly. Yeah, right. Pretty, pretty Latin. Nice. Meaning that, I mean, you're not a good Someone person. Someone who is not wanted. Not, not a good person that right. nobody likes. That's right. So you went out to promote the album and do the shows, and how was it received? Uh, probably one of the best uh, receptions we got for a record. I mean, it seems like the band is really moving. Like, you know, a lot of bands from our era kind of play the old songs and stay right. there. We don't do that. We write new songs. So right. the band is still growing. It nice. seems like new fans new all followers. the time. Right. Little kids in the front with the headphones no. on, on their dads. Small so children. A lot of them. A lot of them. How does it feel to scream at small children? They scream back. Oh, they do. All right. That's not so bad. But and they do this. The headphones. Oh, they, they always do, do the this. horns. They always do this. Oh, do they? And they, I can see their dads leaning into them going, that's like this. And they go... Like that, oh, so wow. they've, they've learned yeah. the horns. Right, right. No, that's fine. Well, it's nice it's become the international symbol for rock and roll and no longer the, what is that, like a goat? Yes. Right, it'd be like a goat. So, no, no more goats. It means rock and roll and that's it, right? Right. So, you're back and you're going to record another album. Yeah, we're going to start writing it here like 
next week. We actually took the holidays off, you know. Well, and, as you should. And right. then, you know, we'll, we'll get to work. All right. Well, let's get back to this film. And then Great. when we come back, um, we're going to do some mail. And then we're going to talk about the new album and what kind of things we might hear or exactly. see. Perfect. All right. Off we go. Vault of Horror. Don't you dare go away. Because if you do, I'll be sad. And Zetra will be mad. You don't want to see him when he's mad now, do you? This portion of Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Tangela, did you see in this issue of TV Guide, there's a coupon to save seven cents on tabby cat food. Oh, look, tabby cat food, seven cents off. She goes through a lot of cat food. Not that she eats it herself, but she apparently has a cat somewhere here, right? I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it either, but I hear it in the night going mew, mew, mew. Yes, they oh. are night creatures. They are night creatures. Anyways, welcome back to the show. Zetro stepped off for a moment, but uh, we're gonna take this opportunity to read your mail because you send it to us, and it's it's the law that we must read it, right? It's the law. It's the law. How about the first letter, sir? Mr. and Mrs. Olson. Mrs. Olson. Wasn't Mrs. Olson the one who did Folger's Coffee? I haven't the vaguest idea. She did an advertisement for Folger's Coffee. You know, it's mountain grown. Oh. All right, here we go. Hi, Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston. My husband and I are in our 60s, and think of the three of you are the bee's knees. You know, I know what it means, but I never understood the entomology of the word bee's knees. Because they're fuzzy and soft. Are we fuzzy and soft? She's fuzzy and not so soft. Your trio is delightful, and I think your interventions are cute. Interventions. I'm she must be speaking of our interstitials. Interstitials? Right, right, right. Interventions. We, we, intervent, we intervene sometimes as well. So uh, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Olson, and we love Folger's Coffee. Next up, Mr. Livingston. Kirk Harrington. Kirk Harrington. That's a rather noble name. Quite. Right. All right, you guys. Hi, Vincent Livingston and Tangella. I discovered your show because of Mummy and the Monkey. We love Mummy and the Monkey. Now they're going to come out here one day. And I don't think you're going to like the monkey. They're messy, you know. No, they are. But no, I don't think you're going to like them because he uses four-letter words sometimes. Oh, right. right. Uh, super cool horror house out of Cleveland. Your show is fabulous. I really enjoy the special guests. Your awesome attire and the house and the vibe of everything. Does Tangella have a pet bat? Uh, is Livingston related to Lurch from the Adams family? He's a distant relative. A distant relative, quite distant. Uh, does Vincent have vampires in his family? You know, I don't have vampires, but I do have some leeches. Uh, I have really enjoyed coming to the world of horror hosts since my divorce roughly four years ago. I also went through a period of great loss around the same time with the deaths of my father and my grandfather and loss of employment. This man needs to write a country western song. He's lost everything. Right. No. Having something to watch that I really enjoy and that is something I can look forward to has been like a life preserver to me. Thanks so much for all the hard work you guys do to put these shows together. Well, thank you for watching, Kirk, and things are going to get better. Trust me. Next up, Mr. Livingston. We have a package from Anne-Marie Bateman. What is this? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to look at it. Well, let's it. open it up. Give me the letter and give her the, the rest. Oh, it's a Christmas thing. To Vincent Livingston Tangella from Anne-Marie Bateman, I think we've heard from Anne-Marie once prior, or more. Believe in the wonder of oh. snowmen. Or, oh, she sent us a $20 American bill, look at this. Oh. And gifts, all right. Uh, to Vincent Livingston Tangella, Merry Christmas. 
uh, to your all on Creature Features. I made something for each of you for Christmas. I love your show and I love you all. My birthday's December 15th. Sorry we missed it. Happy birthday. I was so happy you like the Halloween things I made. Your show is awesome. Keep up the good work. Love, uh, Anne Marie Bateman. Well, thank you, Anne Marie, and we hope things are well in. Where does it say she's from? It does not. She's from. Uh, look at those. So they're, they're the Christmas box. ornaments, are they not? No, no, show me the ornament. I, I don't. I, it does not matter where she's from. Look at this. That's fantastic. I bet you she made those with her own hands as well. Is nice. that it? But no, there's one more. Give me the one more. Look Dwayne from Fort Worth, Texas. Wayne? Dwayne. 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 No, it's Dr. Wayne. Dr. Wayne. Dr. Wayne Fung DDS. Ah. Not Dwayne. You yeah, listen to him. Looks like Dwayne. All right. Uh, dear Creature Features team. Uh, that's you two. Listen. You're on the Creature Features team as well. As a dentist and a fan of your show, I've got some toothy suggestions for Creature Features. Toothy? I did not write this letter. Have you considered how Tangela's enigmatic presence could be a golden opportunity to subtly promote dental hygiene? I have not. Imagine her flashing a perfectly cared for smile, subtly encouraging viewers to brush and floss regularly. Also, those horror movie snacks you show are a nightmare for teeth. Maybe sneak in some tooth-friendly snacks like apples or carrots? It's a sly way to promote healthier, enamel-friendly options. And about the sound effects, ever thought of using the chilling whir of a dental drill? It should sure send shivers down the spine and is music to a dentist's ears. In short, a little dental twist could add an unexpected bite to your show. Keep up the great work, Dr. Wayne Fung, DDS, Fort Worth, Texas. There you go. Interesting. Dwayne. Dwayne Fung. Dr. Dwayne. That would be pretty good, right? Looks like Dwayne. That's it. That's it for letters, right? That's it. All right. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own, go to this little website right here, and you'll see how you could send us a box of ornaments with $20 that somebody stole. I have it. Oh, you have it? Good. Or uh, you could send us an email, or you could just write us a letter in the post and uh, use a stop and do it the old-fashioned way, right? Indeed. Right. Anyways, uh, off we go back to Vault of Horror, and when we return, we'll be back with Steve Zetro. See you soon. Hello friends, Tangella and I would like to take a moment to compel you to join Creature Features TV. It is our new streaming service that offers you early access to Creature Features from your computer or your favorite set-top device. You can see the full archive of Creature Feature episodes, movies we've yet to present on the show, a library of items from the original program, plus many other items you won't find anywhere else. Your small yet generous subscription fee not only supports the operation of the service, but actually helps finance the creation of our show. It's a very inexpensive way to ensure that we'll be able to continue producing creature features for years to come. Not to mention it'll keep Tangela out of making mischief and wreaking havoc in the village as well. So please visit CreatureFeaturesTV.com to learn more. And thank you so much for your support. You, know, you do cause trouble. Zetro, how do you keep your hair so shiny and manageable? I don't know. I guess I got lucky. I guess the rock gods knew that I needed to keep my hair. And or genetics. Fortunate. I don't know. I guess I could go with that a little Thank bit. Thank your mother. My father, actually. Oh, your father. My, both of them had. But my, when my father passed, he passed with a full head of hair, and it wasn't even all gray, even. And I think he oh, was wow. 81 or 82 when he passed. So My goodness. So I guess I got that to look forward right. to, right? Good. Well, passing or not going gray? No, not going gray. Right, right. Passing's going to happen. Right. Welcome back to the show. We are watching Vault of Horror with the legendary Zetro from Exodus. And uh, you were chatting me up 
while the film was running about uh, that main actor. What's his name? Yeah, Kurt Jurgens. Kurt, Kurt Jurgens. He's Jurgens. in the third segment on right. this movie, and, right. and he uh, he played Stromberg in *The Spy Who Loved Me*, which was actually Roger Moore's famous favorite movie that he did of right. the Bond era. That was the first one with Richard Keel, who played oh, Jaws. Right, of remember course. that? That was him. Was, that was him. Wow. Yep. Wow. And then Terry Thomas, of course, he's been in. He Wasn't he in uh, Mad, 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 Mad? How many Mads He was there? the best in that. Right. He was the best in that. Such a great actor in that. Yeah. And he's done other quirky, funny roles like that as well through his, his, his tenure. Right. Wonderful stuff. All right. Well, before we took off last time, we were talking about the fact that you're going back into the studio to yes. record the new Exodus album. And, you know, I was curious about the whole process because... Studios are not what they once were. It's still a good place to go to focus. Like, we did it in a house on the last one, which was good. It was very right. comfortable. Well, it was a home studio. It was Yes, it was a right. home studio, right. exactly. It was a studio that was in our, actually, our drummer studio in his man cave. You know, right. basically, we did it there. Um, this time, we're choosing to do it at Trident Studios in Martinez, California. Oh, nice. And... Um, I like that studio vibe more than going into somebody's home studio, kind of. Right. I like, I, and I like this studio. Right. So, uh, and yeah. actually on the last record, I did some vocal fixes at the studio because it wasn't feasible to, once everything's broken down already, right. we knew Juan was there, the guy who owns the studio, right. and we just had him fly the chips in and everything's nice. there. You don't have to bring reels anymore like so, we were talking right. no, about. So I was saying back in my day, there was like a tape this big to record all those tracks. Oh, and two reels like this that right. went, and once right. they were And now done, you say it's all gone. It's all gone. It doesn't right. exist. It anymore. doesn't even have the big control board. No, anymore. no, it's there, but it's all automated, so nobody's pushing it up. You just see it move like it's a ghost. Oh, phantom, phantom yes, sliders. exactly. That's right. That I mean, this guy's fun. clicking. He's clicking on his stuff, and you watch it move, so he knows right. what he's doing. So you don't really manual. You can, but it's really not done like that anymore. Well, it simplifies things if you don't have to repeat those complicated changes. No, exactly. Right, right. How fun. All right, what do you say we get back to Volt of Hora? One of my favorites. And when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll, I, I need to ask you about these pugs of yours. By, by love. Your grumble of pugs. Yeah, I have a grumble. That's right. All right, off we go back to Volt of Hora. See you soon. James from Parisburg, Virginia. Love the show. Just great. Uh, I did see a segment where Tangella actually spoke. Could you bring that to the attention to the crowd? So I hope you have a great new year, and I'm a fan. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. You, I need you to do that. Welcome back. back. To Welcome back to Creature Features. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I like his version. My, no, it needs to be more rock and roll, more metal. Do a metal version. Welcome back to Creature Features. A little That's more metal. musical. A little more musical. I don't know how musical I can get. Let me see. Give me, give me your pure screech that you do on stage. You want to screech of that? Do it. Do it. Welcome back. Creature That's exactly, exactly what I need for yeah, this program. Looking for. Anyways, welcome back to Creature Features in a most metal friendly way. voice. That was the metal version. This is like just the, the FOP version. And uh, we're watching Volt of Horror with our friend Zetro from Exodus. And uh, you were saying something about the comic book. Well, I read the, the comic film. book as a kid, but these stories never appeared. None no. of these stories happened to appear in the comic book. It was kind of taken off of that. Do I don't that? know why they did it. Maybe to get people to come 
Or maybe the writers that wrote the stories in there had a copyright infringement. Oh, on that. I we're wonder, right. you know no. how that is, writers. No, it's crazy. It could right. be. No, 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 no. That's probably you're probably right about that. So, but did they ever take these stories and put them back in the comic book? I never read them after that either. Oh. But maybe after I stopped oh. reading the comic book. It might have. As I grew older, I, I kind of got away. You know, from I would have loved to have gone to this film while it was in the theater and then looked over at some stranger next to me and said, the book was better. Right? No, the comic book was better. Exactly. All right, so um, we're talking about pugs. Yes. You have like 20 three. of these I have three. creatures. You have, I have three. three? I have three. All right, that's still a grumble, right? Yeah, it's a grumble. It's a, it is it's a grumble of pugs. Everything after two is a grumble. Right. So how do you how do you put up with three of these little beasts? Well, because they're the sweetest ever and they oh. love their lovers and minor lovers. All right. So they don't like nip at your shins or no, anything. No, they like don't. That. They'll they'll lick you to death. I think that's right. that, that'll that's the more No, that's good. Because they're not those trained attack pugs one sees on television, right? I don't think so. No. No, no they're no, not that's trained. Good. Oh, yeah. They're good pugs. They're you know, babies. who's who's gonna run from a pug? No, you run right? to a pug. No. You run to a pug and you pet the pug. When you see that little face, that little smashed face, you just go, oh, you just right. gotta kiss no, it. No, they are sweet little beasts, are they not? Right. And they, you know, it's just they, they have that nasal issue all the time. Well, mine sleep with my wife and myself. And um, if you've ever seen a Three Stooges show, they snore. Oh. <laughs> It's sometimes no. all three of them will be snoring oh. one right after the other, and it is hilarious. I have a recommendation. You should sample it on a recording and bring it in and make it as part of the beat of one of the new Exodus songs. Hey, that's the hey, There you go. See? Right? And then it could be like an Easter egg because nobody knows know what it is. And then someday you'll be doing an interview much like this one, but on a much better program. And you'll say, uh, yes, now actually that sound you hear at the beginning of uh, this song is My Three Pugs. Snorting. You should call the song My Three Pugs. My Three Pugs. Like My Three Sons. My Three Pugs. Right, we're getting silly. All right, let's get back to Vault of Horror. And uh, when we come back, uh, you're going to tell me something else interesting about this film, right? Cool. You All got right. it. No problem. Off we go. See you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Toilet tanks. Is this yours? Somebody needs a bigger toy box. Mr. Spock. I love Mr. Spock. That's amazing. I love Mr. Spock, don't you? Yeah. Now, that was when it was fresh, too, right? I always thought Kirk would be the first one to go. I bet he's going to be the last one. He, he is! No, well, no, there's still a uh, checkoff, and there's still a uh, uh, George Takai. His oh, character. that's right. George Takai is still Sulu. around. That's right. That's right. And who else is left? I think um, that's it. Well, right. Anyway, so uh, welcome back. We are watching Volt of Horror with uh, Zetro from Exodus. And uh, you're a big Creature Feature fan. And yes. not this show, but the original. Well, I'm a big fan of this book. show, too. Right. Well, you, you're paid to say that because you're no, in my chat. No, actually, I'm not. No. These people need to know when I go on tour and I go to other countries where I can't watch the television, 
I watch this show. I pull it up on, and I watch all the back episodes that I've missed. If I, and I watch you them all the way through. I watch the interviews. I watch them. all the movies. Right. I love right. them. No, they're on. I just go to YouTube and right. I have my little iPad. And yeah, boop, it's boop, nice. It's it convenient. Is. It's it's like it's like being able to take all love along with you. Yeah. But you used to watch the original program. Uh, forever. Which forever. is something I could not do. So, yet. so with Bob Wilkins in your home, and I've seen this. Yes. You have. Uh, May I call it a shrine? A little bit. I mean, I have Bob in one of my bathrooms. No, two of my bathrooms. And then uh, as you walk into my house, um, you know, your director um, put me in that movie of Up Late with Bob Wilkins. Right. And I have the movie poster framed along with the DVD and one of his cigars signed from him in my Bob house. Bob Wilkins cigars. Yes, Bob right. Wilkins cigars. Right. Right. And then, of course, when you walk, leave my house, there's a sign right above the door that says, watch horror movies and we should also Super mention American your style. harley davidson motorcycle yes, my 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 creature feature right. homage to creature features which is all painted in um you know classic horrors but on the back fender is a picture of bob holding his cigar and on the right. bottom under my light it says in your logo the right creature features right but you started watching like almost from day one yeah right. 71 i was right. i was born in 64 so i was probably six or seven and when you were watching came bob wilkins yeah. I watched Dark Shadows as a little kid because that was a soap opera right. that came on in the afternoon, I believe after General Hospital or right before And that's General. what wet your whistle to horror. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's right. really what started it off. And then as soon as Bob started the show, if it was either Friday or Saturday or Friday and Saturday or whatever, I found it. I found and you're it. not the only rock star you used to watch him. The bloke from uh, Metallica used yeah, to Kirk watch him Hammett's as well. huge Kirk into Hammett. horror and, right. and definitely a bit. We've talked about him and I've talked about that. Right, right. And how Bob is such a big influence on both of our lives. Yeah, amazing. But, you know, I think Metallica and Exodus needs to do a Creature Feature song. And you've already done one. So it's mean. Metallica, if you're watching, you need to... Get to work right now at this Martinez studio. Well, right. they have their own compound to record it. Uh, uh, all right. Well, use your own studio, but just make a song like it does not need to be about us. It could just be Bob Wilkins. That's fine, right? Yes, totally. Maybe, right? Why not? That's all right. No, but you got to add you guys in there. It would be I a nice your, touch. It would be I, a nice I, touch. I love your homage to the show, to be honest with you. You're not doing what Bob did. You do something completely different, and well, we I couldn't. love it. I love we it. We don't have Bob. I, I mean, it. how could we do a Bob Wilkins show? He right. was a very unique thing. I it, agree. It'd be like trying to do the Ed Sullivan show again. Yeah. You know, you could come close, but you you would not be the Ed Sullivan show, would it not? No. Right. right. But you keep the legacy very well alive, and I believe from watching the letters, you know, every week, that the fans are really... You know, they love what you do and love because of what had happened, right. you know, in the 70s and what they probably grew up on like I did. You know what I mean? They were, you know, young little whippersnappers right. trying to look for horror movies Well, to watch. you know, it's interesting you should mention that because when we began, most of the letters we received were from people saying, I used to watch Creature Features with Bob Wilkins. You're not Creature Features with Bob Wilkins. Now the letters we get is... I've been watching your show for years, and I just discovered somebody who was doing a show like yours called Bob Wilkins. Isn't that amazing? And it's amazing how things how turn around. How the circle around. turns. Right, right. All right, off we go to the end of Vault of Horror, and uh, when we come back, we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? Cool, yeah. All right, see you soon. And that brings the coffin lid down on the Vault of Horror. You know, this whole thing where they're walking out and fading away. Hey, you don't see special effects like this anymore. It's all done digital, and they would have had, like, whooshes and smoke and things. This is, I like the way they just use double exposure to just make them fade. Into That's nothing. why we like these old films. That's right. No, I do. There's something to be said about uh, practical effects. Yes. And they don't do them enough anymore. She's a practical effect. You know, all the explosions you see on the show, she's actually putting fire to fuse. It's, there's no digital going on here. 
So, uh, anyways, uh, did you want some M&Ms? Livingston went through great trouble to separate the brown ones for you. Where are the brown ones at? She's got the brown ones. She give, give them the brown ones. Oh, I love the brown ones. So, uh, as, as all viewers know, uh, during the introduction, mm. uh, we had a bit of an incident where she tricked him into uh, separating all the uh, M&Ms. He, he spent a, a long amount of time doing it. So, if you'd like a bag of pure brown M&Ms, we can build one for you. I love that. And... Uh, Next time he'll know that you don't uh, enforce a rider upon your appearance on creature features. All right, anyways, what's next for you? Well, other than going in the studio, recording the record, we have to do a little tour of South America. South America. Right Where? Brazil. Brazil. In oh, I Chile. bet they love you down there. They do. Oh, what's Chile like? It seems like the lower that you get into South America, the more crazy they are. Oh, really? Crazy so, good. Yeah, crazy right. like out, out they love you. crazy, yes. They dance on yes, stage. They, they do a lot of dancing. More they slam throw dancing. gold up on the stage. I don't stage. know about gold, but I get stuff thrown. Right, right. How fun. How about, uh, what's, what's the country on the very bottom? Argentina? Yeah. Is that the one? Have you yeah. ever done that oh, one? Oh, Buenos Aires is, they're crazy. Insane. Oh, right. Amazing. Next time you go to Buenos Aires, you should go to, uh, what is it? Uh, what's the South Pole called? Antarctica? Is that right? Too cold. Oh, too cold. Well, you go in the summer, and no, you can lie on the beach with the penguins. Really? I don't know. I've never been. It's cold. No, it sounds like it'd be fun, though. And I, I, you know, I understand that there's UFOs there. Right? Come, no, that's where they all come go? from. They don't come from space. They come from Antarctica. All right. Well, that all sounds like fun. Thank you so much for thank you for having me once again. Adorning our guest chair. I love to come to do the show. You know that. And when you come back from tour, you're going to come back and see us again. Of course, right? and we'll right. give you an update on what's going on. Good, good. All right. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for staying up and watching us instead of Hogan's Heroes. Uh, for that reason, we love you very much, and we cannot wait to see you next week. See you next time. So, uh, Zetro. Um, you know, I'm thinking with you recording this album so close to here, perhaps you might need some talents of an organist. Well, we might not need a pipe organ, but do you know how to play a kazoo?